Hello guys, this is about how to integrate YouTube player or YouTube API in the Android Studio. So let's go. This is console.developer.google.com. Okay. Google APIs are available on this website. I will provide the link of this on description. Now click on this and create new project okay i give the project name youtube and location no organization create my project is created here is my project open from this youtube okay You don't have any API available. I want to add API library. So, so go to library and then in library section you choose YouTube data API. Okay, this is related to YouTube. Next, you enable it. After enabling, go to credentials, go to credentials, Okay, now create credentials. Okay, here you choose YouTube data API v3 and in Android. Okay, and choose public data. Then, what credentials do I need? This is your key done. And your API is unrestricted, so we added it here. We need to add our restrict usage to Android. Add an item here. We need to paste our package name and here we need to paste our fingerprint so go to android studio i create new project empty activity here i name it youtube okay finish it Is another link of developer.google.com YouTube and Android player download. This is the YouTube player download API. So you download it. I will give you the link in description. Download the file. I have already downloaded. You have to download, and I tell you how it works. This is downloaded in zip file. Okay. Open it. And go to libs libraries and this. Copy it. And go to Android Studio. 
left view now open it and next open F and then ellipse paste it in ellipse folder that you copy this you this will be copy from that folder you have to open YouTube Android from downloads and then leaves then this copy okay paste it to this okay it will be pasted now I want to check the fingerprint first of all we paste a package name of this copy from this this is the package name Control C and then Control V. Okay. Now we need of SHA one certificate fingerprint. So go to Android Studio, then in View, Open View, and then Tools window, and then Grader. Okay. In Grader file, you open YouTube in app in tasks in android and signing reports okay signing reports will be open okay now check where your sha1 is this is sha1 fingerprint okay copy it and paste it into this okay now done our item is added now then save Okay. Our API is now correctly configured. Okay. This is downloaded. Okay. Now go to Android Studio and then I want to add library of YouTube video player. So go to file and then project structure and then dependencies and dependency you add jar dependency okay in jar dependency you have to add youtube layer youtube android player api dot jar and okay apply and then ok if you check that your dependency is added go to gradle scripts and in build.gradles and see your dependency is added ok Okay, go to XML and here I design my screen. First of all, remove it and I change the layout to linear layout. You can design according to your need. And in linear layout, I set orientation vertical. Okay, in this I use YouTube player view that is match parent and I set its width to 250 dB height 250 dB okay I set its ID YouTube oh sorry ID YouTube player view okay close this now I add the button that is called play button that is match parent and wrap content and text play and ID play and uh, I set margin top 20 dB okay this is my XML screen now go to main activity and 
replace app compatibility to YouTube base activity. Okay, now initialize or declare button BTN YouTube player view YouTube player view our YouTube player dot on initialize listener this is called on initialize listener now set them id first of all button id btn equal to find you id dot dot id dot play okay and second youtube player view dot equal to find view by idr dot id dot youtube player view okay on initialize listener equal to new youtube dot on initialize listener it is initialized in initialize listener we set youtube player dot load video and in this i will set some url so youtube i open my youtube channel video mark all codex and in mark all codex i use this type of video so copy its link open first and copy from equal to because youtube have already initialized so we need equal to and further address so i copy it stop it and paste it into this so skip equal to and next paste this will be done semicolon now i need Define the functionality of button btn dot set on click listener new on click listener and in on click listener I set YouTube player view dot initialize and first argument we set our or put our API value this is key copy this and paste it to the this and second argument is on initialize listener okay this will be done okay go to manifest and set internet permission uses permission internet okay now I want to check it select from app level like this so you can install easily app on your mobile or emulator